Now the first step is to enable or disable the Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam at the top and then go to settings and go to in-game option over here and make sure enable the Steam overlay while in game. If this is off, turn it on and then go to game, make a right click on the game, select properties. Now if enable the Steam overlay while in game is off, then turn it on and then you can launch the game and then check. Now if Steam overlay, if this is already on, you can turn it off and then check. So check which one is working fine for you. Next step is to verify the game file. This is important. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to disable Steam Cloud. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, go to properties, turn off the option which says Steam Cloud, turn it off, launch the game and then check. Once you are able to launch the game, you can enable the Steam Cloud once again and then check. Next step is to try window mode. Now, if you are able to launch the game, uh, you can hit Alt plus Enter and it will switch to window mode. If you're not able to launch the game, you can set window mode to zero in config file. Now for this, you can open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open Users folder, now open Your Username folder, now open App Data. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, Select Show, put a check on Hidden Items and then open App Data folder, open the local folder, open this folder and then open the game folder, save folder, here save games, this folder and here you can see settings data. You can make a right click, open with notepad and over here you can see window mode. If this is set to two, you can type in zero over here and then go to file and then click on save. Now you launch the game, the game will launch in window mode. Now you can check, still not working. The next step is to, if you have beta installed, you can uninstall the beta version and then verify the game files and then you can launch the game. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to rename or delete the settings data file. Now for this, you can, when you, do, when you delete or rename the settings data, all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this, you can open File Explorer and then you can go to this location, the same location. So go to the same location and then open the game folder, save folder, save games folder, open this folder, settings data. You can rename it or you can delete it and then you can relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, the next step is to rename the complete save game folder in this location. Now create a backup first because all the save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you want, you can create a backup. So go to this location. Go to this location over here. Open this folder. So this is the location. And then copy this folder. And you can create a backup. You can paste it to the desktop. Uh, once you have a backup created over here. And uh, now you can rename this. All the saved settings will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, you can rename it and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make our active on command prompt app make make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow copy all these commands one by one paste it over here hit the enter key now run the second command paste it hit the enter key Now restart your computer. Once done, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, try power saver mode. Now for this, you can type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, go to hardware and sound, click on power options. Now over here, if you see power saver, in my case, I have only balanced, but if you see power saver, you can select power saver and then check. You can even switch to balanced and high performance and check which one is working fine for you. Next step is to turn off, turn on or turn off Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, you can type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings over here and then click on advanced graphics settings. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on and then launch the game. If this is already on, 
turn it off and then check. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this make our activity in the game manage browse local files and over here you can see the game exe file. Now make a double click launch the game from here. If that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok still not working disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then you can hit apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work in that case uh, let me close the game for now if that does not work you make a right click and then go to properties and this time you can type in dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, you can remove this and then follow the next step now so dx11 or dx12 you can try this if that does not work the next step is to if you're using any third party antivirus like avast do not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow add an allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open once the game is added now you can launch the game do the same thing if you have any third party antivirus next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website select your graphic card select your operating system and then click on start search at the very top you will see the latest graphic card driver so you have to install the latest not the studio one but the geforce game ready driver so click on get download and then click on download now and then run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok and then click on agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings over here and then click on add desktop app and go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on the game and then over here select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here now launch the game desktop users uh, make sure that you connect the hdmi cable or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this open this link in a browser uh, you can search in google install visual c++ file and then you can go to microsoft website scroll down here you can see x86 and x64 you have to install both the files x86 and x64 run this exe file if you see repair click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once installed now restart you restart your computer and after the system restart you can check next step is to update windows 11 so go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected when you update the bios now if you have any external devices like otas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer close all the overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings uh, you can turn on or turn off overlay check which one is working fine for you if you're using nvidia app you can go to nvidia app settings turn on or turn off overlay and then check do not overclock if you have overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msr afterburner revert you know running close it close all the third party services and application if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game 
Now, now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a right click manage uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, del delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.